So a lot of people have been asking what I feed my Havanese pistachio. And before I give you the rundown on that, I just want to be abundantly clear that I have not studied dog nutrition and the choices I make on what I feed pistachio really have to just do with a lot of Googling things like can dogs eat cucumbers and going from there. I do always check before I give her a new food and I do try to avoid giving her too many snacks that have zero or negative nutritional value. So let's get into it. So to start our day, Pistachio gets her morning kibble. This is the kibble that we buy for her. She gets a half cup in the morning and a half cup at night, and we'll give her more if she finishes it fully, which she rarely does. Pistachio really favors the lamb chunks, and it's a bit of a workout to get her to eat the rest of the kibble pieces. Which is where toppers come in. I often will give pistachio some scraps from a meal I'm preparing for myself, most often scrambled eggs from breakfast, and I mix this in with her kibble and typically that will encourage her to wolf down the rest of her food. Before I start work, I like to give her a high value snack to distract her from the boring part of the day beginning. I was sent these salmon snacks from Grub Terra for my honest review, and here it is. They are genuinely my and Pistachio's favorite snacks right now. I look so forward to giving them to her because she just goes nuts. I like that they're made in the US, they're a single ingredient treat, and salmon is super good for dogs and can even make their coats shinier, so I feel really good giving these to Pistachio. They're also the perfect size to fit in this puzzle toy. I will link my video discussing my favorite toys for pistachio where you can see all the puzzle toys that we use here. I'll also link these Grub Terra salmon snacks in the description below and a discount code that you can use to get 10% off at checkout. Note that the bag says these are for medium to large dogs, but the size is comparable to other chews we've given pistachio, so I feel comfortable giving them to her. Around lunchtime, she gets her daily dentist stick. She gets one of these every day in a puzzle toy to help prevent tartar buildup. I think that she has really good breath for a dog, but I'm her mom, so I might be biased. <laughs> Throughout the day, I'll give Pistachio a training treat when she responds to my come command. I like to always reward that one since it's a life-saving and time-saving command. These training treats are super small and perfect for quick training moments. Now I'm preparing Pistachio a frozen peanut butter Kong. This is a con, and it's just a toy that you can put spreads in and then freeze to make a tasty puzzle for your dog to enjoy later. It takes them a while to get all the frozen treat out, so I like using these when we have to leave the house to distract her from our exit. I don't give her one of these every day, but we are going out tonight, so I'm prepping one for that. My house is a mess, I do apologize, but here Pistachio did get a couple pieces of popcorn from my own snack bowl. And now it's time to head out. So I'm giving Pistachio her peanut butter calm. She'll work on this for probably 20 minutes and barely realize that I've even left. And now we're home. Now Pistachio gets her dinner kibble, another half cup. These days Pistachio loves to eat in the basement. I don't know why, but if we carry her food down to the basement while we watch TV, she's much more likely to eat the whole thing down there. And with that, it's bedtime. We creep into our bedroom so that we don't wake the baby, and I am so thankful that Pistachio knows to go in her crate with just a point of a finger. I'll give her a bedtime biscuit here as a reward. Good night, sweet baby. And that about covers a normal day of snacks for Pistachio. Things can vary because I like to mix up the puzzles that I use and different treats work well in different puzzles, but she gets her kibble every day, she gets her dentist stick every day, right now she's getting a same snack every day. But you know, some days I might use like a Kong wobbler and stick a few more training treats in there. It really just depends on how much I have to leave the house because I do give her a puzzle treat every time I leave the house to work on avoiding separation anxiety. I hope this video is helpful for you in how you think about feeding your own Havanese or your own dog. 
and different dogs respond best to different foods. So you figure out what your dog likes and what they are most healthy with. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.